Hey guys, welcome back to Des and Fox Play. I am Des and this is The Room. So with uh, just some stuff going on with myself and then Kyle's been out of town, Fox has been out of town, and um, th that means that there's going to be a little bit of a gap in our Darkwood stuff. Sorry about that. Hopefully it won't be too much of a gap. Maybe, maybe a week. Hopefully not even that long. But uh, because of that, I thought that I would start dropping some uh, daily mysterious creepy content and I've heard good things about the room uh, it, it's a puzzle game and it's got some mysterious elements maybe some spooky elements to it but uh, I decided I'd play it and we'd see how this goes now I will let you know that on my phone right now there is a walkthrough but I'm not even a glance at it unless I direly need to because I understand that puzzle games are only so exciting to watch for as long as you know what you're doing. So let's start the tutorial here. Let's see what we're doing. Yep, I see. I figured. Double click on the envelope on top of the face. Or on the safe to focus on it. Got it. Slide the letter out of the envelope. Click to continue. Get the key. A small brass key with an animal motif. Yeah, but hang on, I want to read this again. I didn't get a chance to read this. What did it say? Well, I'll rotate the lid to line up the keyhole. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Drag the key to the keyhole. There we go. I wonder if it's supposed to be VR, because this looks really VR. It says... Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. Fire is the is the answer to that. Inventory object found. A curious eyepiece. Click the eyepiece icon to wear. Oh, oh, what did that say? Dang it! I did that too quick. I didn't see what that said. Double click to focus on the note. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. Fire is the answer to the question. The riddle solution must be here somewhere. Right click to zoom out. Okay. Good, I wanted to read this. It says, You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and it is the key to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. Between me and Fox, that's true. With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. Alright. Without a lens, it's just an ordinary eyepiece. That's what it said before. Got it. Okay. So, fire is the option we're looking for when it comes to uh let's see some of my dusty old books i don't think they'll help me here when it comes to the feed me and i'll grow larger give me drink and i will die but i don't see fire here anywhere so we're gonna go ahead and okay so that's a key piece there hmm Oh, right, right, right. Oh, wait. I need a lens for the... Let's see. Let's take a look at this. Anything I can do with this at all? I can close it and open it. No? Okay. So, how do the hints work? Let's see. Maybe there's a symbol on here that matches the riddle. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'm looking. There's another keyhole. Can I focus on different parts? Or maybe the legs? I can. Fire! Oh, there it is. Fire, wood feeds it, but water puts it out. I guess I should give it a push. Nice. Inventory object found a peculiar key. There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look. All right. So now... Oh, it looks like I can rotate the key is what it said. Okay. So, I can either do it this way. Or this way 
Okay. So the top, the, the simple way to do this is the top is a W or the top is kind of an M. That's not an M, but you know what I mean. That's how we'll, how we'll think of it ourselves. Okay. So for example, that will not take neither W nor M. So let's come back over here. Uh, that might take W. So let's come this way. And let's try it. There we go. Okay. Um, dang it. These seem to rotate, but there are no markings to show the correct position. I need to look elsewhere. Okay. So I need to start checking other things. So down here we have water. Air. Okay, so we have the elements. So now I'm looking for a symbol of some sort to be able to either put on there or rotate. I might be able to unscrew this find something to grip it with. Bespoke safes for the century. Guildford, England. The world-renowned talisman established 1807. Guaranteed thief and fireproof. Okay. Um. This says earth. Alright. We're just looking around right now. What do we have here? It looks like this. No? Okay. No, just let's just focus on that. All right, where is there a symbol with which we can maybe up top? Is that a symbol of some sort right there? It's a circle. No. No. Yeah, without a yeah, I know. What about this? No. Hmm. Can I come out of this or is it just the box? No, okay. Just the box. Let's check this out again. It said something about these seem to rotate, but there are no markings to show the correct position. I need to look elsewhere. Okay, well maybe the key will work here as well. Let's try and find out. It will, all right. Ooh, what is this? An ornately engraved metal plate then looks like it could be used as a wrench. Well, we know what to do with that. It comes right over here. Nice, there's the lens. It looks like it would fit in the eyepiece. Okay. Well, um... This is suddenly... Arcane. <laughs> this is probably... Uh, man, look at this. This is probably the symbol we're looking for, and I'm guessing as we turn around... Okay, so we have... Star outside, spokes left, small spokes right. That's what I'm calling that. There's star outside. Um, this doesn't look like... Oh, it's a trinity symbol. Okay. It's... Okay, so the middle doesn't rotate. So we have to match everything with the center here. Like that. Um, like that. And... Like that. So that's a trinity symbol, and those are two onks on either side. Just all religious symbols of various sorts. Okay, and in this box is another box! And then I'll mail that box to myself, and I'll smash it with a hammer! It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! Sorry, it's a, uh... Emperor's New Groove reference. <laughs> well, well, let's take a look- take it out for a closer look. Chapter complete. 
pleasing progress, but do you really think you have proven yourself yet? Continue the game. Um, what can, I don't know. How long do we want to do these episodes? We'll continue for now. We'll see. How many chapters are there? Let me take a double check and just see how many chapters there are. Uh, it looks like there are... I don't know how many... Oh, there are a lot of chapters. There are a lot of chapters. Like, 22, maybe. That's what it looks like. So... I got a feeling we can do... A little bit more. Uh, these three seals stand between me and the contents of this box. Okay. Why are there seals here? Oh, oh. Okay. So... Let's take a look at each one. Locked up tight. Must be a way to get into it. Yeah, but I just want to look at them. Okay, well, I guess I can see them here. So it's a key, a gear, and an eye. Like an, uh, uh, the eye of Ra. If we come over here, is there anything we can focus on? Nope. Okay. So this is a normal key. If we look up here, it says cowl. As in, like, cape and cowl. Dude, give me, like, a second to look around here. <laughs> If we look over here, we have some symbols. I uh, got a feeling that will be one of the first things we're able to do. Oh, over here, we see that that symbol right there is that one. So let's come right down here and we can change this. Uh, I've already kind of forgot. Oh, no, it's that one. Right? Yes. Okay, good. So we got that. That's one thing we have thus far. And this is the gear, and there's that right there, and then we have uh, numbers, and here's the I symbol. Um, and yes, I know, I'm going to check the lens in a second, I just want to look at everything without the lens first. For example, there we go, so we have the upper left hand side now, and I already forgot what it looks like. This is going to be rough for me, guys. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, uh, reticle. Alright, where is the reticle? There it is. Okay, so we just need to find these two now. Let's come back up here. There's a star here for some reason. Yeah, we can zoom in on it. Star-shaped indentation. All right, let's go ahead and put this on now. Take a look around thus far. Ooh, interesting. There's a five. A seven. I believe that's going to be a two. Is what it looks like that's going to turn into there. Is that a zero there? Wow, this is super cool. I like this a lot. Okay, so we know we can come back to that in a moment here. Ah, and what do we have here? Oh, just fingerprints. Do the fingerprints mean anything though? Yes, they do. An ancient leather-bound book. The cover seems very ornate. And if we see right there, the upper right-hand side is going to be the cross on the spiral. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Uh, let's take that off for a sec. Cross on the spiral. There we go. And we could just do trial and error on that right there, but we're going to not cheese it yet if we don't have to. What? Yeah, alright. I thought that might be something. A miniature telescope. Interesting. Can I put that on here? Can I combine that or... Okay, there we go. Nice. Anything else I can do with that? Other than just... No? Okay. Alright. I'll tell you guys what. We're going to come back next time with more of the room. Uh, now that we're making some pretty good progress, I'm feeling good about this. I know we're just starting, but this is a lot of fun. So we will see you guys next time with more room.